Hey everybody, welcome to the Village Guy. Um, for those of you joining for the first time, yeah, this is a show we chat to people of Paul and Wellington doing amazing things. And one of those individuals is Ethan Coulson. And of course, he doesn't really need any introduction, but he's had an impressive year this year. Um, I tried to list all his um, awards here on a piece of paper, but yeah, I ran out of space. But I decided just to do the big one. So Ethan had an awesome opportunity to be the flag bearer at the Commonwealth uh, Youth Games in Trinidad and Tobago. And then also he's the African Continental Track Champ um, and also had gold for the Junior t Team Pursuit. He also is the Western Cape Provincial Junior Sportsman of the Year Award and then also Cape Winemans. Um, yeah, and he's also 2023 is a track champ. So I wanted to find out more about his year and then also what's happening next year and how the uh, practicing is going. SCP Radiology, an established radiology practice in the Western Cape, is on a mission to provide high-quality and precise diagnostic radiological procedures. Their latest branch, located in Paul Medi Center, offers top-quality dedicated X-ray imaging in the heart of Paul. Find out more on their website at www.scp.co.za. Thank you, Mr. Coulson. Right, all good. Oh, cool, man. So tell me, which countries did you not go to this year? Because it looks like you traveled the world this year. <laughs> no, not yet. Is it? Almost, yeah. So which countries, to, uh, list, list the names of countries this year you visited. Yo, it was Egypt, the Netherlands, it was Trinidad and Tobago, St. Martin, and Colombia, and okay. Panama as well. Which one was the best? For me, Colombia was the best because I was there the longest, so I got to experience more of Colombia. Okay. But just the people, the vibes, everything was just lacquer in Colombia. And which one was the worst? The worst, I would say, was St. Martin. Who is that? St. Martin is a small island in the Caribbean. Okay. So I was stuck there. I couldn't leave the airport. Why? What happened? Uh, we were just had a stopover, but we had a tra I had a transit visa, so I had problems with that. Okay. So I couldn't go out of the airport, so for me that was just a bad experience. But were you alone or...? Mm -mm, no, I was with uh, Ian Hutam, manager oh, okay. of... Oh, okay. Oh, at least you weren't alone. Yeah. So, I mean, like, so traveling, you know what to pack, it's easy, all yeah. those type of things. And the bag with the cycle, massive bag, it's all smooth flying. I mean, you must get problems with the bag. Always. Sometimes. You always get problems. When I went to Trinidad and Tobago for Commonwealth Games, the airline lost one of the bikes that I took with. I got it a, a, a week and a half later. How do they lose it? Like they, at the stopover, they took the bags off by accident when they weren't supposed to. Okay. So then the bag stayed in St. Martin and I was in Trinidad oh. and the bike was still there. Jeez. And you must still uh, race and you're stressing you don't have the bike or you had you an extra one? Luckily, it wasn't the bike I was supposed to race on. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, worst experience of traveling? I would say that. Like when you cried, Mommy, come help me here. I nah. <laughs> I don't still really worry about my parents when I'm traveling Yeah. because I've been doing it so long. Yeah, but yeah. the worst experience was the where I lost the bike yeah, now yeah. in Trinidad. Yeah, that yeah. was the worst. Okay, cool, dude. So 2023 has been like amazing year for you. I see you just getting awards, which was the highlight of the awards, like out of all of them. Which one, which is the, yeah, your best accomplishment this year? My best accomplishment was the silver medal at Commonwealth Games, Commonwealth Youth Games. Okay, why was that so special? Because it wasn't the intention was not to go to win a medal the intention was just to go for experience okay and then i was like okay we're just gonna see where the race goes how it plays out and then last lap came poof silver medal okay nice so of course you travel i mean you race against the best in the world um like when you were a kid did you know this is going to be a reality my father always tells me when i was younger I always used to say i want to ride the tour de france but that never really registered as I got older, then I played rugby, cricket, everything. So I didn't really still think much of cycling. Yeah. And even now, last year, when we started getting, started winning big, I didn't think I would get thus far in such a short period of time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the highlight of the career so far? Because, I mean, you, not only this year you got awards, I mean, you get the awards every single year, but what, what's, like, the biggest achievement for you in your cycling career? Achievement is also this year's silver. Commonwealth Games. Silver, okay. yeah. So what is happening next year? Next year, we're going to see... If I can make it in Europe a bit, got a team there. 
Don't lie. That is that's like a dream come true most for a cyclist. Yeah, it is. But it's a it's still a development team for next year though. Whoa, that is very cool. But the goal is to grow and build with that team yeah. because they have an elite team as well, right. a pro continental team. Right. So the goal is to build with the, with the development team and then get into the pro continental team. Uh, which country are we going to be? We're going to be mostly in Germany, but we have races all over Europe as well, and uh, but in Africa and some in Asia as well. So how did this happen? Like, did someone phone you and say, Ethan, come out? Like, I mean, that's like dream come true. I mean, if I, I expose myself a lot on social media. Okay, okay. So that is where, and that's also where I started seeing about this team. And then I got a Clint Hendricks. Yeah. He had, he was connected with the team. So he proposed me to them. Wow. And they said, yeah, we would love, they would love to have me come there for next year. Okay, so what happens? You get a phone call, or what? Do they DM you on your Insta? Like, what? How does this? How does? I mean, because this is like <laughs> mind blowing. <laughs> no, um, Clint gave me the team owner's number, yeah. and we started chatting, and we started talking a bit, and then eventually he sent me um, a letter of invitation that said basically I can come ride for them next year. And I was like, okay, this is not happening. Now the dream is we're starting to realize. Yeah, the like, dream. I mean, what's going through your head? But he's crazy. But it's, that's scary. Mm. That's a bit scary still, yeah. Yeah, because you're also young and you're going overseas. So what? Yeah. How long is it for the whole full year? Or what's happening? No, it's, it's supposed to be for six months. Okay. Six months from I think April to November. Uh, no, October. Sorry. Okay. April to October. And what, where you st- are you staying alone? Do they have like a college, like a cycling? I um, might stay alone, but I might go with Danelle Matthews. Okay. He might go over with me. So okay, he's also from Paul. Okay. Yeah. This year, are there other South Africans in the team there? Really? No, it's just me and Danelle for now. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. So, and you, of course, won the Western Province um, Junior Sportsman of the Year Award. So, we're going to Sun City as well? Yeah, if, if we get the invite. Okay. You must get the invite because you automatically qualify for the Nationals. Oh, last year, we, I won as well, but I never got the invite for Sun City. Did you win last year as well? Jeez. <laughs> okay, so my list is actually quite too <laughs> short. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a few questions quickly. It's quick one-word answers. Um, movies or series? Movies. What was the last movie you watched? Last movie I watched was, um, I think it was a James Bond movie. Okay, cool. Um, Beyonce or Rihanna? Beyonce. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Beyonce or Taylor Swift? Beyonce. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Insta or TikTok? TikTok. Okay. Oh, oh, before I get on, so you said you're a lot on social media. Is that where they also saw what you're doing and your awards? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's important as a professional cyclist to have Instagram and social media. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. I see your social media is on fleek. <laughs> um, Bry or dinner? Bry. Okay, cool. Fishing or hunting? Fishing. Yeah. Uh, what is the most played song on your playlist now if I have to take your phone? Okay, give me, give me two or three. Yo, um, I died in your arms tonight. It's like, a, I've been a lot of old school nowadays. Okay. Are we into the yeah. old school now? Yeah, we're into Usher and those kind of <laughs> things now. D- DJ got us falling in love tonight. Okay. DJ got us falling in love, that's one. Uh, soccer or rugby? Rugby. Okay, did you play at all? Yeah, I played when I was a light here. Alright. Yeah. Um, boxing or UFC? UFC. Okay. Uh, MotoGP or F1? Oof. I can't choose between the two. You must, otherwise you have to jump down the cliff. Okay, now yeah. Formula 1. And what fan are we? We're a Lando fan. So early person, early riser or a late sleeper? Like, what, which one do you do? I like to sleep late, but I'm forced to wake up early. Oh yeah, because your practicing is a bit crazy. Yeah. Uh, t- Tiger Woods or any else? Tiger. Okay, cool. Uh, Trevor Noah or Mark Lottling? Trevor, okay. always. <laughs> <laughs> Avicii or David Guetta? Avicii. Okay. okay. Avicii. All right, nice. Um, Last thing you searched on Google? Last thing I searched on Google? Offenberg, Germany. The place where I'm staying next year. Alright. And uh, does it look amazing? It looks good. It's close to all the other big cities like Stuttgart and it's close to the Swiss border as well. Okay. I had G- German at school for like two years, so I usually need lessons. I think I'm going to need lessons, yeah. yeah. I just know Ich bin Miles, that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you picked up a genie lamp now and you rubbed it and Mr. Genie came up all blue and there were three wishes, what would those three wishes be? I'll grant you it for you. To become a pro immediately. Mm. Uh, a Porsche GT3 RS. Ooh. And, Ooh. and to, for money. Okay. So that I can retire to my parents. 
to what you want to do. Yeah. Uh, what's the most expensive thing you bought? It's my new road bike. Are we giving pricing out here or not? Hundred grand. Yes. Hundred grand for my new road bike. It's like a polo and a Corsa. <laughs> 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 oh, best thing that happened to you this year? Hmm. Finishing my trick. Okay. Finishing my trick. What are you most excited about this day? I, I'm not talking about Germany now. Like, uh, like I know you're going to become a pro next year. What are you most yeah. excited about this year? This, these days. What? These days, I'd say it's just the fact that it's December. Mm. Yeah, it's festive. I say. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking forward to the. F- there's a race in Paul on the 15th. Which one is this? This is it's a race my father put up. Okay. So it's in honor of my grandfather. Okay. Yes. So I'm looking forward. To, so I'm looking forward to that. What's now. the name of the race? It's the Eric Olsen Track Grand Prix. Okay. Yeah. Is it on the uh, Forest Street? Yeah. Okay, cool. Are yeah. you taking part, of course? Yes. Yeah, yeah, perfect. If you could switch lives with anyone in the world for one day, who would it be? Jack Harlow. I'm not going to sing this lyrics because it's in my head now. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kanye West or Jay-Z? Kanye. Uh, J. Cole or Drake? Who do you miss the most? My grandfather. Yeah. Okay, yeah. If you had to start a business, what would it be and what would be the name? Yo. I saw a clothing brand. EG Apparel. Let's go. EG? EG. What's the G for? Cough. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What is going to be athleisure? Is it going to be like... Yeah, athleisure. All right. Something like that, yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, like uh, like jump shock sky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, if you had supper with three people, dinner or live, who would those three people be at your table? Michael Schumacher, Valentino Rossi, and Avicii. Uh, give me a pinch myself moment. Yo. Worlds, Worlds last year. Okay. Just to be there. Last Where was it? Worlds was in Israel last year. Oh wow. Yeah, but that was no yeah, fun. Yeah, but prior. Yeah. yeah. But just to be there, mm. to put on that South Africa kit, mm. that was a pinch myself moment. And how was the flag bearing thing? Was it also like super Yo, exciting for you? The flag bearing thing was also a pinch myself yeah. moment because I was, my fa- I called my father. Mm. I, was the fir- I might be the first cyclist, I think I am the first cyclist to ever carry the flag for South wow, Africa. Wow, dude. No, dude, that's amazing. On any like Olympics, Youth Commonwealth Games, Paralympics. I'm the first cyclist there. I hope you have like a really good quality photo of you with the flag. Yeah. Is it yeah. blown up in your room or somewhere? Okay, not blown up com- like completely, yeah. but there is a photo there. Yeah. <laughs> but good quality. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Superpower, what would it be? Flight. Fly? Yes. Okay, for, yeah, for traveling. <laughs> or just fly wherever. Mm. Celebrity crush? Phew, Zendaya. Mm. Good choice. <laughs> So you said your dream car, and then um, when are you in your happy space? When I'm at home or when I'm with friends, when I'm away from all the, the hustle and bustle of life, just chill. Yeah. So what are you doing when you're not cycling? Mm, when I'm not cycling, I'm mostly out with friends, at home with my sister, my mother, mm. just chill there at home. Yeah. So what is the family? Is it you, father, mother and sister? Yeah. It's four of you? Yeah. Okay, cool. So give me your weekly routine from Monday to a Friday, what time are you waking up when you yeah. have to cycle when you're training? Of course, you yeah. have exams now, like when you're full steam ahead cycling, what is your routine? Yeah, now that I'm unemployed, it's much better because I don't have school in the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's every day, it's train at eight. Seven days a week, train at eight. Train at eight? Yes. Okay, so we're waking up at? No, past six, seven. Okay, and then where do we get together? We get together at Forest Stadium at DSV headquarters. Right. From there we go. Monday will be an hour, easy ride. Right. So, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday will be minimum two and a half, three hours Jeez, on the road. Yeah. And then Friday will be maybe easy ride and jump afterwards. Okay. A core. And then on Saturday, Sunday, we do long rides, which is normally five hours. And how many kilometers are we like riding a week? Like A week? Yeah. yeah. If we do three hours, it's 90 a day. So, mm. yeah. And then on the weekends, it will be... Upwards of 120 k's a day. Cool. Okay, so what is the December and January looking for like in Ethan's life? December, we're just looking forward to Boxing Day and the f- and the Grand Prix on the 15th in Paul. Yeah. And then January, it's 
sort of relax, just train, just yeah. riding. Nothing big, no races. But then February is when it actually starts. Yeah. When the prep starts for the year. And then, of course, you're going overseas when? April. April. Yeah. So everything is sorted for that. Yes. All good. So what are you telling the young, you're also young, but I mean, what are you telling the young cyclists out there? What's your, like, uh, what's, your, what's your thing? Like, why are you getting all these awards and like, why? why? What's I, your thing? I always tell people, that you're especially the young ones, just enjoy it, man. Don't do it because someone forced you to do it or yeah. your parents are telling you, try this sport. If you want to, if you want to succeed, you just have to enjoy it. I'm still enjoying it. Mm. That's why I'm doing it because I enjoy it. Nobody's mm. telling me to wake up in the morning and go train. Yeah. I'm just enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, out of, from a character perspective, what are the three main things you need to be a successful cyclist? I think first, the first one is definitely discipline. Because mm. you need to be disciplined enough to tell you, look, this is what we're going to do now. And then you have to do it. Rain or shine, yeah. you have to do it. Yeah. I'd say discipline. And then the other two. Yo, discipline. And then on top of that, I think you need to be able to also discipline. Something like discipline, but you need to be able to suffer. You need to be able to, to, to push yourself. You need to be able to tell yourself, look, we have to keep going here now. And if your legs yeah. are burning, you need to, you need to go. Mm. And then you also need to be self-aware. Self-awareness is also key. Because you need to be like, okay, today my body is... It's, it's contradictory to what I just said. Yeah. But you need to be aware of yourself like, okay, my body is today, it's tired. Yeah. So we can't push to the max. Yeah. Yeah, and you also need to be self-aware of your your personal life as well because that affect that can affect your cycling in a big way as well. Okay, and for the ladies out there, are we single? Yes, we single. See, on the map, so finish with school, going overseas <laughs> on the map. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, no problem. It was, uh, it was lekker. Yeah, it was a cool, <laughs> cool chat. I mean, I can chat you forever, but I have to edit, uh, <laughs> edit some time. Yeah. But um, yeah, good luck with uh, next year overseas and also this year boxing day have you ever won boxing day yet? no i was eighth last year mm. so this year we're just going for the top five or we can just win it Whew. i don't know i've got a good couple of belgian friends that's coming over okay so it's gonna be difficult but we can win it yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing's impossible nothing's impossible